All right, so we are going to convert um, recurring decimals into fractions. Um, I'm going to do four different examples with you, starting with these two, and then the next two examples are going to be a little bit more harder, and then hopefully by the end of this video, you'll get the hang of this, all right? So sometimes the um, decimal will be written like this with three dots at the end, indicating that this continues, this pattern of numbers continues. Other times, you might see that it has a dot above certain numbers. So in this case, it's got a dot above the eight and the three, that simply means that everything in between 8 and uh, 3, inclusive of 8 and 3, continues. So in this case, it will be 0 0.863. The next number will be 863, 863, 863, all the way on. So let's get straight into the first example here. You want to do this. You want to say, for example, x equals, so you can say let x equals 0 0.171717, like that. All right, and you will now use this value of x to bring in another um, sort of form of this x. What you want to be doing is you want to make sure that after the decimal place, that all the numbers are the same, so you can cancel them out, you can get rid of them. And in order to do this on this particular example, if we take the 1 to this side, can you see, we'll get 1.717171, dot, 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 okay? Now, this 717171 is not the same as having 171717. So, have, multiplying this by 10, that's what would have, we, we would have had to do if we wanted 1.717, isn't good enough, all right? So, that's no good. However, if we multiply by 100, so we end up with 100x equals, again, this time, um, the 1 and the 7 will go onto this side of the decimal place, giving us 17.171717, dot, dot, dot. Now, can you see that after the decimal place on our 100x, it's exactly the same as what the original x was. So, we can do 100x take away the x. And same with the numbers, that's exactly what we're going to do. Because after the decimal place, when we take these numbers away, they will just cancel out, they will just disappear. So let's do this, okay? So we are going to bring our x back here, and we're going to do 100x take away x. And remember, x was 0 0.171717, okay? And let's see what we get. So 100x take away x is 99x. 17 take away 0 is just 17. And all of this take away all of that, just cancels out. So you're left with 99x is equal to 17. And therefore, you can rearrange that in terms of x, so 17 divided by 99. And sometimes you can cancel this down even further, you know, simplify the fraction. But in this case, there's nothing to simplify with because 17 is a prime number and you can't divide both numbers by a common number. Hopefully you got the hang of that one. Let's have a look at this one here. Exactly the same thing, we'll follow the same system. So we'll write x is equal to 0 0.863, 863, 863, and you can write this as many times as you want, but that's enough to indicate that this continues on forever. Right, this time, however, we've got three numbers which are repeating, and we want to take all the three numbers onto this side of the decimal place. So what would we have to multiply the x with this time? Have a uh, think about it in your heads. And then a thousand. I'm hoping that you're say, sitting there thinking a thousand because that's exactly what we have to do. So if we get a thousand X now, so we've multiplied by a thousand, we get 863.863863, so on and so forth. Now this 863863 pattern after the decimal place is exactly the same as 0 0.863863863, I'm getting tongue twisted here, after that decimal place. So again, we can bring the x in and we can take those numbers away. So we have 0 0.863 here as well. All right, so 1000 take away x, 1000 x take away 1x is 999x. 863 take away is nothing, is 863, and of course, the decimal place values, they just cancel each other out, and they are no longer there. So we have x is equal to 863 over 999. Once again, try to simplify that if you can. I'll just check on my calculator if I can simplify this further. I've checked on the calculator, I can't simplify this any further. So you leave the answer like this um, in this instant. Okay. So I'm hoping you've got the hang of the last two examples that I've done. Um, behind me, I've got two more examples. 
they're a little bit more harder than the last two. Um, perhaps you want to sit down, pause the video and, and try yourselves, okay? And then you can play and you know, compare your solutions with mine, okay? You, I, I would want to warn you though, you may come across some thinking to do, okay? So I'll leave that with you. All right, so hopefully you've done the same at home. Let's have a look at these. So we've got 0 0.872727. And I'm only repeating the seven and the two because the dots are above the seven and the two. So let's say, as before, x is equal to 0 0.872727, on and on. Right, now it's a 7272 that repeats. So if I multiply this by 10, I can have the eight in this position. Right, so let's just do that. So 10x, let's start with that. So 8.727272, on and on, okay? Now, I'm sure you encountered a similar problem that I'm facing here. You see, previously in the last two examples, I bought my x in, right? And I did, you know, 10x or 100x or whatever it was, a thousand x, takeaway x. But this time, can you see the problem? I've got the original x, as 8727272. So it's no good for me, the original x. So I have to do something else. And this something else means that I have to have another form or variation of my original x. Now, in order to do this, you have to take all three of these numbers so that you have 7272 left on this side of the decimal place. And you have to take all three of these numbers onto this other side. And what do you have to do to get all three numbers onto the other side? You have to multiply by 1000. So let's do that here because I'm going to be taking the bigger number away from the smaller one. So 1000x is equal to 800. In fact, it's getting too crampy, too crampy here. In fact, let's get rid of that completely. So let's start fresh, guys. I don't want to um, jam up the workspace here. So we're going to do 1000 x and what's 1000 x is going to give us 872.7272 etc etc now do you remember that original 10x that we had previously we're going to put that 10x in here so and that 10x was 8.7272 dot 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 can you see what's happened we've got a thousand x 872.7272 and we've got 10x and we are going to take them away from each other because, look, we have what we wanted. After that decimal place, we have the same repeating numbers, which will cancel out, leaving us with just the whole numbers here. So let's do that. 1000x take away 10x is 990x. And 872 take away 8 is um, 864. And that will be x is equal to 864 over 990. Now let's see if we can simplify that on our calculators. Um, if you want to do that in your head, you can keep dividing by two and we end up with 48 over 55. So that's our final answer. Now, right, so on to our um, last example here. We've got 0 0.00454545, which is the repeating number. So let's do this. X is equal to 0. 0, 0, 4, 5, oops, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, all the way, three decimals is enough. Okay, three dots rather. Now, what did we want to do this time? We want the 4 and the 5 as whole numbers, and that will get rid of all these zeros here as well. Now, how much do they have to travel? Okay, let's look at the 5, let's take look at 5 as our position. So, 1, 2, three, four. For, in order for the five to be here, I have to take or multiply by a 10 to the power of four, okay? Or in fact, skip that, I have to multiply by 10,000. Let's just keep it nice and simple, the language, let's not complicate things. Right, so I have to um, multiply by 10,000. I've got 10,000 X, which gives me 45.45445. Now, once again, just like in this previous example, I have to have another variation of x. It's not, no good for me to have x in here because I can't take them away because can you see, it's not the same after the decimal place. So to, in order to make um, this have the second variation of my number have the same 
figures after the decimal place, I have to multiply by a hundred. So I have to bring in a hundred x here, which gives me a zero because the four and the five will just simply come to this position, 0 0.454545 all the way. Now, I will do 10,000x, take away 100x, which is 900x, and 45 take away nothing is 45, and x is equal to 45 over 900. Once again, try to simplify that, which definitely does simplify, and I got 1 over 200 and 20 as my final answer and this answer is good enough uh, but like I said previously um, try to simplify so that you get your fractions in order. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. Um, I will try to link in the description uh, a worksheet to the various websites out there. I'll select one where you can practice more recurring decimals into fractions. Goodbye for now and see you in the next lesson.